Hi, my name is Ryan Donnelly, Product Manager for Gene Editing Reagents at Horizon Discovery. Uh, we've put together a multi-part webinar series um, that shares Horizon's insights on key considerations for conducting gene editing experiments. Um, each section um, is going to be hosted by a different Horizon employee, and we're going to cover such topics as optimizing your cell line, uh, how your gene of interest can affect editing outcomes, how to select highly functional and specific guide RNAs, um, as well as looking at donor design for knock-in experiments. And then we're going to finish up the series with how to screen and validate your clones. So a quick overview um, of the different modules that we've put together for the viewers. First module that's listed here, uh, cell line optimization. Uh, we're going to go over methods to optimize transfection efficiencies of CRISPR reagents and look at key considerations for downstream analysis, including clonal isolation, cell culture, homogeneity, and things like that. The second module, uh, we're going to discuss the genetic considerations for um, generating a, a cell line. So, you know, things like uh, gene essentiality, investigating copy number and pseudogene burden of your gene of interest, and really how to deal with genes that have multiple transcripts will be addressed in this module. Uh, the third module, we're going to be talking about guide RNA considerations for knockout experiments. So we get this question a lot of what makes a good guide RNA design? So uh, we'll go into how to go about choosing a good guide RNA for knockout. Uh, there's a few different publications out there that give different uh, guidance on this. Uh, we'll go through some of our internal tools, including the editor algorithm, um, to really show you how to go about selecting not only highly efficient guides, but highly specific guides as well, so you can limit off-target editing. Section four will address uh, guide RNA and donor considerations for knock-in experiments. So guide RNA design for knock-in experiments is a, adds another layer of complexity. The guides need to be really close proximity to your insert site. But we'll share our tools for that, as well as donor design, as well as donor format. So there's a few different donor formats out there, and those can really be uh, chosen based on your specific application of interest. Module five will look at screening your clones. So you've conducted your genetic experiment. Now you have a pool of mixed genotypes. How do we go about finding the clones with the genotypes of interest? And we'll also address some ballparks on how many clones you should look to screen for your downstream analysis. We have our uh, clones now, but now we, we need to validate them. So how do we go about doing this? We're going to touch on functional assays and what to do if an antibody-based functional assay isn't available for your edit of interest, as well as how do you go about analyzing off-target events. And thanks for listening. We hope you join us on the path to simpler gene editing by signing up for this exciting new video series.